after you install Nimbus, you want to get a kind of a feel of how it works. So play around with it a little bit. Uh, the first thing that you're going to notice is when you you uh, start using it, the first thing it'll do is it will ask you to allow access to your webcam. It'll ask you to allow access to your microphone. So definitely do those settings first. Um, start a recording with it after it allows the, the settings and then pause it, turn it off, and then do another one. So get a little practice and then you don't have to do a ton, just maybe two, three, uh, get a feel for it. But once you have the icon up in your Chrome tabs, go ahead and click it. Um, we're going to show an example here where you're going to do video. So I'm going all the way down to record video. And there's some settings that make a difference here. Obviously, you want to record mic sound. That's important. If you have any any videos or tabs that you need to have sound from, make sure you have that selected. Now, keep in mind, this is only on the tab view. If I switch over to desktop, it will automatically shut all those off. So you have to determine, am I going to do some recording where I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between multiple tabs? So if I have multiple sites open up here that I'm jumping back and forth between, uh, that's something to keep in mind. If I'm just doing a presentation, which is the example we're looking at today, make sure you have tab set. Okay, so we have tab. And notice I also, in addition to the, the mic sound and the tab sound, I also have record the webcam. Um, we'll show you what that looks like as it comes up, and then you'll be able to make a determination of what you need to do with that. Um, so I'm going to hit start record. It typically has a countdown timer that's going to come on. So you can see my countdown timer, it'll either be here or it will be right up in the corner. Okay, you can see that my webcam has popped up and I have presentation uh, set so it's not pre in presenting mode yet. So if that's, if that's the way you wanna start off, that's fine. Um, keep in mind if you do that, hit present, you're gonna lose your webcam because it's gonna be hidden behind it, which is fine, but you'll be able to talk over your presentation. So as you talk through your presentation, click through the slides, they'll be able to see it do that. And then when you're ready, you get to the end of the slides, simply go up to the top. You can click on the stop recording button. When you stop recording in the corner, okay, it's gonna play it back for you, you up, can check it out. And I have my presentation uh, set so it's not so if everything looks good, then your next option would be to download the video. So we'll go to save screencast, save video right here, save video, and then put that up into to Google Drive and you can share that with your students. Okay, don't worry too much about doing any kind of cutting on the front end or the back end. That's okay, kids are gonna be okay with uh, the little uh, imperfections that might be at the beginning and the end. If you go to the video editor, it asks you to do uh, the pro version, which, which is uh, an expense. The free version is just fine. 